If you want to be in for a chance to win this beautiful beast, all you have to do is the following on all three videos with this team. Subscribe to the channel, answer the question of the day somewhere in the video, and finally join the Discord server as that's where I'll be announcing the winner. Best of luck to all of you and I hope you enjoy the video. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're having an OU battle versus Yam and Ham from the Discord server. Go ahead and join the Discord server. It's the best place to go for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battles right now. There is a link in the description down below. I've also noticed only 36% of people watching this video are actually subscribed to the channel. So just double check you subscribe because sometimes YouTube unsubscribes people. It's a bit bizarre. And if you're not subscribed in the first place, why not subscribe? It's free. It helps me out and I really appreciate it. Anyway, with that being said, let's jump into the team preview. Okay, Yam and Ham has brought a pretty fire-looking team. They've got a Great Tusk, Skeledurge, Grimmsnarl, Overquill, Dragonite, and a Rotom Wash. Overquill's nice to see. I haven't seen that one yet. i um, yet to battle one of those, I believe. Oh, have I? I can't remember. Um, looks like the team's going to do pretty well here, though. Um, they've got the Rotom and obviously the Dragonite, which can take a wave crash pretty well. But other than that, I think Masculine is going to put in some nice work here. So... I think what we need to do here is lead off with Pelipper. They probably lead off with Grimmsnarl, actually. So should we lead off with Heatran or something? Um, we could lead off with Heatran. Or we could lead off with um, with Hooters. Hooters is a good one. Or we could lead off with the um, Moltres because they can't parting shot on us. I think we lead with um, with, with uh, Hooters, the uh, Decidueye. Just because we can defog away the light screen if we need to. Um, they haven't got a Golden Ghost, so we should be fine. And the battle begins, so Yam's going to lead off with founding the Rank Master, which is the Grim Snarl, as we lead off with the Decidueye Hisui. Not a bad matchup. We can definitely do some damage here, so let's go for a nice and powerful triple arrows right now. And um, just to get some damage off, they go for the Reflect, of course. Reflect is absolutely fine. Once they've set up the live screen, we'll go for a Defog and get rid of those. Um, triple arrows is a pretty cool animation, actually. We've got a crit as well. It's got a high crit rate that I move as. Let's go for another triple arrows and see what we can do here. Um, I think they probably go for a light screen right now. They go for a parting shot, so they actually just decide to go for the one reflect, which is absolutely fair enough. They're more than likely going to go into Skeledurge now, which is absolutely fine by me. I do not mind the Skeledurge one bit. Um, I think reflect is mainly the one that they wanted to get up because of the Basque Legion, probably. So they're going to go into President the Great Friend, which is, of course, the Skeledurge. Absolutely fine play by me. Um, triple arrows is still going to hit because of the Scrappy, of course. Um, and we get the defense drop as well. But it doesn't really matter because they're unaware. So what we can do now is we can go straight into Pelipper. And Pelipper can threaten the Skeledurge out, no problem. Pelipper definitely scares the Skeledurge out. They're going to withdraw, expecting the Pelipper switch, probably. And they're going to go into Pink the Gourmet, which is going to be the Rotom. Great Tusk. Interesting choice of play. So, they're going to get a Protosyphonist boost, which is going to, of course, boost their attack. Um, I'm wondering what they're expecting me to go into against the Skeledurge here. Maybe they're expecting the Basket Legion. Even then, that's the Great Tusk. I don't understand the Great Tusk play, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm curious to know what they were expecting to happen there. Um, so, what I'm going to do is, they might have been expecting a Dark move. They might have been scouting for a Dark type move, to be fair. Um, so, I'm going to go straight for a Surf, because I just want to get some damage off on something on the team. Um, or I should go for a U-turn, because they're definitely going to switch here, right? Get a bit of momentum on our side of the field, you know, that, that's the kind of thing we need. If we can get a free switch into the Bastia Legion, that's going to be great. Um, so let's see what they go into here to take a... Um, they're going to Sleepy, the Rank Master. Who's Sleepy? The Rotom. So Rotom comes on in. Absolutely fine by me. Absolutely fine by me. We can just go straight into our Decidueye and go for a Leaf Blade on this thing. No problems there. Um, do I want to do that? Because they might burn me. And I don't want them to burn me. I'd rather they didn't burn me. I would much rather they didn't burn me. So I'm thinking... But what's my other play? Ultras? Fiery Raffle Hurt. But they're probably specially defensive, right? Let's go with Decidueye. Let's go with the Decidueye switch. Um, I think that's an optimal one. So we'll go with Decidueye real quick. And what we'll do is... Um, they're probably going to switch out, right? Now, I think I'll go for a Leaf Blade here. They probably go for a Volt Switch or a Will-O-Wisp. If they go for a Will-O-Wisp, we're at least going to be able to get some chip damage off on the Rotom. Um, which would be nice. They go for the Will-O-Wisp, which is absolutely fine by me. Um, not too fussed about that burn on the Decidueye. Because Decidueye's goal here is to mainly defog and stuff. Um, so let's go for the Leaf Blade real quick. There we go. Get some nice bit of chip damage off. Not really that much, but it's whatever. So Reflect should wear off this turn, I think. Is it this turn? No, it's not. They've still got three turns of, of Reflect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go for a defog. 
Um, they do withdraw. What are they going to go into, though? That's the real question. They're going to go into the Rain Cloud, which is going to be the Overquill. Nice and shiny. Got to love it. Look at that thing. Um, Intimidate doesn't work on Scrappy Pokemon, which is good to note. Uh, we go for the Defog. Get rid of that Reflect, because that Reflect is getting annoying now. It's getting very annoying. Um, we don't want that up on the field. So we're going to keep Decidueye around, because Decidueye is going to be good for getting rid of the Defog later on down the line. And what we can do now is we can freely... If we expect them to go... Because they're not going to have Liquidation because it's not a Rain Team. They're probably going to have like Dark Move, Poison Move, uh, Toxic, something along those lines. So let's go into our Heatran. Heatran should be able to tank a hit from this thing, no problem. We can go for the Earth Power, get some damage off on it. That'd be nice. So we'll go Heatran. Heatran is a good one. So they go for a Toxic Spikes. Toxic Spikes is acceptable. Like I said before, we can just go into Decidueye and uh, Defog these away at some point. Um, for now, I'm kind of wanting to burn something. I'm looking at their team and I'm thinking nothing wants to really be burned. So I'm going to go for that will o -Wisp real quick. Because if we get a burn on something, that'd be nice. Skeledurge isn't going to switch in because Earth Power is obviously a thing. Um, if they do switch Skeledurge in here, then that's a fair enough play. They're going to withdraw Rain Cloud. They don't want it to get burned. They don't want it to get Earth Powered. All that stuff. They're going to go into Sleepy, the Rank Master, which is the Rotom, I believe. Yes, it's the Rotom. Absolutely fine by me. We go for the will o -Wisp, get a bit of chip damage off on the... Um, just chipping away at its health little by little every turn, thanks to the burn, which is always nice. Burn doesn't do as much damage as it used to, but, you know, it is what it is. It's still damage at the end of the day, and it looks like they don't have leftovers, so I'm wondering what item they are. Um, they've got will o -Wisp. they changed up moves, so they're not choiced. What item could they be? Let's go into our special defensive Decidueye anyway and wall the crap out of this thing. That's what I'm thinking of doing right now. So we'll wall, we'll, we'll, we'll wall it, we'll wall it, we'll wall it. So we'll go into Hooters real quick. There we go. Um, they go for a trick, which is an interesting choice. So what are they actually going to trick onto us really quick? So they're going to trick onto us a nice and powerful choice scarf. So how did they switch up moves earlier? Because they... Oh no, they didn't. They didn't evolve switch. They hard switched. They hard switched. They burned the Decidueye and then they hard switched. So we're now a choice scarf Decidueye, which is good to note. Um, we probably see a Volt Switch here as opposed to a Hard Switch. So let's go for a Leaf Blade and just get some damage off. They actually still outspeed us, which is interesting. Um, they're going to go for a Hydro Pump, which does nothing, of course. We go for a Leaf Blade. Nearly gets the KO, which is great for us. The Rain's going to stop. I'm, I'm surprised they still outspeed us, even. Decidueye is not very fast at all. It is not very fast at all, to be honest with you. It's a very slow Pokemon. <laughs> very slow. So um, what we can do now is... Probably expect, um, we have to go for Leaf Blade, so we'll go for a Leaf Blade. They go for another Hydro Pump, so they're just sacking their Rotom off at this point, which is absolutely fair enough. Um, I'm going to go for the Leaf Blade again, take out this Rotom Wash, and that's one Pokemon out of the way, at least. One of the Pokemon that was stopping Basque Legion, good to note that. In comes Molly, which is probably the Dragonite, right? Yeah, Dragonite comes in nice and shiny, gotta love it, gotta love it. Um, we definitely, I don't think they'll have Earthquake, because Heatran, um, because... Earthquake's not really super common on it. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is going into our Hatterene right now. If I can go into Hatterene and get off a Nuzzle, that'd be great. That'd be ideal. Hopefully they don't have Iron Head or Iron Tail. Because um, that would be annoying if they did. Nice and shiny Hatterene as well. Gotta love it. We're going to get poisoned, unfortunately, due to the Toxic Spikes. Um, and they're going to go for a Dragon Dance. So Dragon Dance is absolutely fine by me. I think they'll probably try and set up another Dragon Dance. I'm thinking they're probably going to be um, Lumberry as well. But... It's fine. It's fine. Let's go for a Nuzzle real quick and see if we can paralyze this thing. They go for an Extreme Speed. Does a lot of damage to us, to be fair. And that's going to activate our Eject Button, unfortunately, which is going to... See, I, I, I'm playing this Hatterene thing wrong. I know I'm playing it wrong. I'm playing it definitely wrong. So, Heatran, let's go. Let's go Heatran. Let's go finally. Finally the Heatran. And just in case they have Earthquake, we should probably Terra. We should probably Terra just in case they have Earthquake. So I'm going to go for that Terra Will-O-Wisp right now. Um, I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Because if they have Earthquake, it'll one-shot Heatran, no problem. And then we'll have absolutely no chance of beating this Dragonite. They withdraw the Dragonite because they don't have Earthquake, I'm guessing. Which is fair enough. So they're going to go into founding the Rank Master, which is the Grim Snarl. We're going to be able to Terra right now. Um, maybe I shouldn't have Terrored. Huh. I mean, you know, you can't you can't just anticipate what movesets your opponent's going to have. You can have a guess, but you can't know for sure until you've confirmed it. 
Um, so, you know, it's, it's probably best that I did Terra there just to play it safe. Just in case they did have Earthquake. Because if they had Earthquake, they'd be sweeping for our entire team right now. So we're going to get a burn off on Grimmsnarl, which is nice. Very nice. And what we're going to do this next turn is we're actually going to go for a Magma Storm. Or Stealth Rock. Stealth Rocks would be nice, actually. Stealth Rocks would be very nice. Let's go for the Stealth Rocks. Um, they do go for the Light Screen, as you would expect. That's absolutely fine by me. Um, we can deal with the Light Screens. Can we? Is it better off that I didn't? Maybe I shouldn't have... Maybe I should have set up Stealth Rocks there, because we're just going to defog them away, right? I mean, we still have to get an opportunity for the Hisui and Decidueye to come in anyway, so um, it's probably not the worst idea. So we go for a Magma Storm anyway. They decided to go for an attacking move, it looks like, as we get the KO with a critical hit on the Grimmsnarl, which is fantastic. So Grimmsnarl goes down. We're looking real good right now. We're looking absolutely real good right now. In comes Molly the Dragonite. So they're probably thinking, you know what, Molly? It's a flying time now. They are probably Lumberry, which is good to note um, because they haven't got heavy duty boots. So I'm going to go for that Will-O-Wisp anyway. Um, they probably go for an Outrage here. If they do go for the Outrage, we get a free switch into whatever we want. They actually go for a Roost, which is interesting. So Roost, Dragon Dance, probably Extreme Speed and an Outrage. So um, let's go for another Will-O-Wisp because they're probably going to Dragon Dance here. Yeah, they Dragon Dance. They are definitely Lumberry, aren't they? I wish I could have got the Lumberry um, use a bit a minute ago, but unfortunately I missed the Will-O-Wisp, but I'm going to miss it again, watch. Yep, see, I knew it, I missed it again. I missed it again. I missed it again. It's fine, though, because once they attack us, the Flame Body can come through. Let's go for another Will-O-Wisp real quick. They go for another Dragon Dance. They are really setting up on our face, aren't they? They are so setting up on our face. And um, there's not really a lot we can do here. Will-O-Wisp actually connects, which is nice. Um, it's going to turn out there's Lumberry on there, but... Um, it should be fine. Are they going to be Lumberry? Are they Lumberry? They are Lumberry. Okay, cool. So they're Lumberry. Lumberry cures the burn. We're going to have to go for another Will-O-Wisp. Um, we've got two chances here. One is that we live the attack um, that they go for. They are going to go for a Terra Normal, I'm guessing, Extreme Speed. Um, which is fine by me. We should be able to live one Extreme Speed. Um, and we could hopefully get the, uh, the burn off. We've got two chances, though. They could get a Flame Body Burn. Or we could get the Will-O-Wisp Burn. So we've got, we've got a good odds of getting this thing burned and crippled. So they go for an extreme speed, a plus two attack. Let's see how much damage this does to us. We should be able to live one. We can live one. We don't get the Will-O-Wisp. And we don't get the Flame Body. Great. So, 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 so. We are going to lose Heatran here. It's fine though. Heatran wasn't doing too much for us this game. I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp just in case to get greedy with the Dragon Dancers, but they don't. They go for an extreme speed. Let's see if we can get the Flame Body burn. That'd be nice. Flame Body Burn would be nice, but no, we don't get the Flame Body Burn. So this Dragonite is set up to go. Absolutely set up to go. So, what we have to do is go Basculin. We have to go Basculin. And the reason we go Basculin is purely because we're a Ghost type. We're going to bait that Outrage. Hopefully they have Outrage as a coverage move. We're going to sack off Decidueye. Like so. We'll sack off this Decidueye like so. We're going to Hooters. They go for a Dragon Claw. So they're not outraged, they're Dragon Claw. Great. Crap, what do we do here? What do we, what do, we do against Dragonite? So the Light Screen wore off, which is good. Um, the only thing I can think of really is the Pelipper. Pelipper can live one attack. We set the rain up. Um, do we have any anything going on here? Hatterene is a good shout. We can get the nuzzle off. That'd be nice. I think I think Hatterene is the shout. I think Hatterene is a shout. And the reason I say we can get the nuzzle off with Hatterene is purely because we can. We can't, can we? I just realised we can't terror. We've already terrored. Crap. Let's nuzzle. Let's try and nuzzle. Just on the off chance they misclicked and go for Dragon Claw, but they don't. They go for Extreme Speed. Um, what do I do here? What do I do here? So, I thought I could Terra Steel for some reason there. But we obviously already Terra the Heatran. So, that was a blunder on my part. What can you do about that? Uh, let's go into Pelipper real quick and see what we can do here. So, Pelipper should be able to live a Dragon Claw or an Extreme Speed. Pelipper should be able to live one of those. So we go for a hurricane, right? Just to get damage off and also to try and get um, 
There we go. So we live at extreme speed. That's fine. We can go for a hurricane. Let's try and get a confusion right now. That's the only way we can win in this. We got the confusion. We got the confusion. So we can pull this back. We can pull this back. We can pull this back. Let's hurricane again and see what we can do here. Let's see if we get put. Go on, hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Go on, do it. They go for the extreme speed. That's unfortunate. What can you do about that? So they're at plus two speed, right? Which means there's double speed. Basculin should naturally outspeed a Dragonite, which means we should, in theory, be able to live this next hit. So let's see what we can do here. So we're going to Mr. Kersey. We're going to Mr. Kersey. Nice and shiny Basculin. And we might actually outspeed here. Let's go for the wave crash and find out. They are confused. So they went first. Are they going to hurt themselves? They go for the Dragon Claw. That's going to KO us. No problems there. Basket Legion goes down. Ah, that's unfortunate. Because I, I, I know Rain Swift Swim doubles your speed and all that. So Moltres is going to come in and we're going to go down, unfortunately, to the Dragonite. This just goes to show that even with all the new Pokemon in the meta right now, Dragonite is still a ridiculous threat to behold. Absolutely brilliant Pokemon. Watch them get, watch them get fully powered. Watch them get confused now. Watch, watch. They don't. They get the extreme speed off, which is unfortunate. So extreme speed comes through. It's going to KO Moltres, of course. Down it goes. And that's going to be the game. So GG Yamanham, that was a pretty fun game. Um, really enjoyed that one. Really good to see Dragonite being such a good threat in Scarlet and Violet. Because I was worried that it might fall off in uh, with the home update with all the new Pokemon. But it, it looks like it hasn't. It's, it's, still, it's still a supreme dragon. Easily one of the best dragon types in the tier. Absolutely amazing. So thank you for the game again. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, enjoy, of course, please like and subscribe. All that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.